Let's sketch this circle equation in conic form. So we've got x minus 5 over 3 squared plus y plus 4 over 3 squared is equal to 1. First of all, how do I know this is an equation for a circle? Well, I like to think of circle as just a specific case of an ellipse. So this is, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to quickly modify this equation to an ellipse. And how do I do that? Well, I can simply, what, change the values of the denominators so they have different values, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change, say, I'm going to change the first denominator to 1. And just like that, we now have an ellipse. Okay, so let's graph this ellipse. Um, well, as usual, the first thing we're going to do is locate the center, right? So locating the center, very easy. What do we do? we make the numerator equal to 0, right? Okay, so when locating the x-coordinate for the center, what do we do? We look at the x-numerator, the x okay? And how do we make this numerator equal to 0? Well, in this case, x simply has to be what? 5, right? Because 5 minus 5 is 0. And guess what? That 5 is the x-coordinate for the center, okay? Easy. Now, for, for the y coordinate for the center, same thing. Let's look at the y numerator and we'll make it equal to 0. In this case, y would just have to be what? Negative 4. Right? And just like that, we found the center for the ellipse. At 5 and negative 4. At 5 and negative 4, which is right here. Okay, and I'm just going to put down a little note. C stands for uh, center. Okay? So with the center in place, we are now ready to graph the ellipse, okay? And how do we do that? Super easy, right? So, in the x direction, in the x direction, what do we do? We're gonna move one unit to either side of the center, okay? So from the center, we're gonna move one unit to either side. So we're gonna move one unit to the right side, right here, and we're also gonna move one unit to the left side. Okay, cool. So that's done. So in the x direction, we, we found two points on the ellipse, right? Okay, now, how about in the y direction? Same thing, right? In this case, we're now going to do what? We're now going to move three units in either direction, okay? So from the center, we're going to move three units up, one, two, three, which is right here. And we're going to move three units down, one, two, three, which is right here. Now, all we're going to do, connect the four outer points with a smooth curve. You see that? And that's going to give us an ellipse. Okay, so that was ellipse, with denominators having different values. Now, let's talk about circle. I'm going to change the denominator back to its original value, 3. Okay. Ah, so look at the equation right now. Intuition tells us we now have a circle because the denominators have the same value. In this case, the value of 3. Right? Let's graph this circle. Okay, so as usual, the first thing we've got to do is locate the center by equating the numerator to 0. Right? In this case, see, if we make x minus 5 equal to 0, x must be 5. Right? If we make y plus 4 equal to 0, y must be negative 4. Right? So our center stays the same. Right? Stays at 5 and negative 4. Okay? Now, with the same values at the denominator, we now have a circle. Why? Because look, from the center, in the x direction, we're going to move what? Three units in either direction. So from the center, we're going to move three units in either direction. So move three units to the right. One, two, three, right here. Move three units to the left. One, two, three, right here. Good. Now, in the y direction, we're also going to move three units in either direction. So in the y direction, we're going to move three units up. One, two, three. And we're going to move three units down. One, two, three. And now, 
connect three, uh, connect four outer points with a smooth curve, we now have a beautiful circle, right? Yeah. So in conclusion, when we see the sum of squares in a conic form with the same value at the denominator, we have a circle.